Welcome to Daily Content. This is where we cover anything and everything people slash foot related for your daily content update. Diving into SBC's trading gameplay on occasion. So scrap in, drop a like, hit the subscribe, ding the bell, get your daily notification. Welcome. Welcome on in, guys. This is where we talk about all the SBCs, all the new content. Today we've got Magloy Lore. Maglore. Tyler Maglore. But we're going to get right into it, guys. But make sure you guys ding the bell, like, subscribe. Um, Don't forget to ding the bell if you guys want to see your daily content where we talk about the market. We're talking about 82s, 83s, all the SBC rated fodder, high rated fodder, all the good stuff. We're going to be taking a peek at M uh, Mbappe. And then at the end, guys, I go over comments for the next video. So for the previous video, for the next video. And so um, comment below if you have any questions. And I actually make part of the video for it. So uh maglor it's an 83 and 85 this is coming out right as content releases so we're not able to look at the technical price of it um it looks like i'm kind of getting a from footbin man footbin's a little bit slow right now but pace is insane guys i would probably put an anchor on it it goes up to 99 strength everything about this card becomes absolutely fantastic except for a two-star weak foot it's gonna be terrible um this the unique body style or the unique uh, player work rates are fantastic high in stock he's gonna be massive it's gonna be so hard to get around uh no player traits but here's the thing guys here's the kicker one his positioning but that doesn't really necessarily matter because he's low attack work rate but this balance strength size he's gonna feel like a monster now this and this interceptions and defense awareness are a huge downer for this card absolutely huge downer and composure so that by itself is gonna be an absolute crush to this for 96,000 coins. That's gonna kill that card. Uh, it's a great card, but it's a fun card, but it's not gonna be high level meta. Now, a, a player, you as a casual, you're not gonna notice the difference probably. It's, it's, it's only gonna matter in those very small, 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 small scenarios, okay? Very small scenarios. But guys, we've got the 70 plus player pick. We got base and mid icon packs. Guys, don't stick around stick around to learn how to make a million coins today. But base mid icon pack, let me know. Are you guys gonna do it? Uh, this is your daily content, by the way, guys, where we talk about a little bit of everything. I always say suggest doing these. I think it's are these I'm kind of confused with these. Are these icon swaps? If somebody tells me below, uh that'll help me in the future. But guys, we're gonna be make we're gonna teach you guys how to make a million coins off these, and these are going to be fantastic to trade on. So if you're trying to make coins, guys, this is the place to do it. Uh, this is the place to do it. Look at this. All you need are gold cards, no rare, or three rares, right? So you need three rares. But it doesn't really matter if they're rare or not. But guys, oh my gosh. You could you can grind tons and tons and tons of these, okay? So if we grind tons of these out, oh, there I am. But um, the idea is that you go in. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be going for left backs, right backs, center backs, doesn't matter, defenders, as you guys can see. It doesn't even matter, any position. And we're going to be trying to snipe for like 350, 300 coins, right? We're going to be sniping. Um, or you guys can bid, it doesn't really matter. But there's going to be ton. you're going to be able to catch these guys, right? Uh, these should go up to 600 coins, uh, 450 there. You see this? I'm not even trying to snipe them, but I'm just telling you guys this entire market is going to go up now you can even make a broad and almost any card okay so these cards are going to go up to 500 because it just doesn't matter it just doesn't matter their cam does it just doesn't really matter um so but if you want to be specific i'd be going for left backs guys left back center backs um because they do get the uh, additional cam that you might need because it's two four six yeah so it's 20 chemistry so you have five players for 20 chemistry so it's really smooth guys and so if you guys try to find a a decent working filter you guys can do it that way however you could even just go into gold commons like this guys and bid at 350 and just keep bidding uh i've been doing this method for a long time guys and just go for 350 flip them okay so it just it just drops so the market has to go through saturation but you can see this guys the markets have desaturated the, uh, the golds right here gold left back so like what i'm saying is just go and bid on these cards and guys you will be able to make a ton a ton of coins and just flip them for five, 500 coins it doesn't like 400 maybe yeah you, you're all i'm saying is just keep going bid on these cards and bid 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 on 50 of these cards win 10 of them you guys are making 60k an hour selling them at 500 uh 150 150 coin margin minimum now guys um 
these work for rare bat rares as well so uh with left backs here so you need three rares right so it's 700 coins this is where i'd be going guys look at that i'd be going to the left backs so and flipping for eight eight nine hundred coins there there you will need it you will need it uh guys i sold mbappe i sold mbappe today so um if you're wondering when to sell i sold him 1.26 i bought him for like 1.3 i lost a few coins on him but i was just having fun but the reason why i sold guys is i'm not going to be playing uh for i i wasn't able to play last week i'm not going to be able to play this week uh just because uh going to holidays i'll be out of town i'm finishing a real estate license i've got some things working that uh in my in my personal life that i'm trying to get breakdown and, and do so um I, I sold him that if you guys are gonna be like that that's what i would do and as you guys can see i, I sold for twenty five thousand coins higher than what he's going for right now so i've almost even made the the market tax there so it's all about guys it's really about the buy point whenever you're talking um but meta market's going to be starting to drop and then flatline probably so i i see mbappe dropping probably to one mil and then he'll he'll start to flatline so i save myself probably 50k by the time i come back to the game uh but okay now we're talking we're talking sbc stuff guys we're talking sbc content okay so uh Pulisic's gone up to 800 coins he's still low right now not a great investment uh stones is okay to buy in um i told you guys to buy yesterday at a thousand you could pick him up for 900 coins yesterday and then it's already technically an addition uh an early sell point and then you could sell here and then actually buy back at 1100 or a thousand coins and then go on the john stones again if you've been following the john stones trade um ibra's uh coming up just a hair not too much movement on him as well not too much movement on tiago actually let's see let's refresh this see how it's gone through yeah not much movement not much movement i don't think much movement on the higher level uh gold fodder as well guys what we're seeing is ea is really suppressing the gold meta fodder, gold fodder this season they're really suppressing it they're 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 giving you packs um, if you're seeing those high level packs, guys, you're going to see it quite a bit. So now what we're going to check out is Tealman's here. Good investment from, is he, if he's still in packs, still a decent investment. 20K, I guess I was telling you to buy in about 18K. Uh, there was a point, a brief period where you're able to get him for 20, uh, 18K. So he's already up, he's already up 10%. So that's technically anything over. It's a greedy, so, but he's still in packs, so he should go up. Then we've got, uh, who are we talking about? Immobile, guys. we got to talk about Immobile here. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to all you guys that uh, continuously come back day after day and uh, appreciate the content, guys. It means a lot. We were telling you to buy in around 32, 33 here. He's up to 37, so up 4K. That's another 10% return there. Um, and you see, guys, this if you're impatient, go 10%. If you're patient and you just don't have much time, I you know, that's why you stick here. But, um... What are, who are we talking about? Kane? We have Kane. Well, who else? Uh, there's another one. There's another one. Uh, it's Cruz. Uh, I've got about probably two mil, a million coins into Cruz. Uh, 42K. He's not making much moves here. Um, once he breaks through this 45K, um, that's what we're really looking at, guys. Um, I don't see Kane moving much at either. Um, you know, Icon Pack today is going to help it out. Looks like he's actually trading about 62.5, 63K. Uh, once, once another, we need another SBC to really diminish the market, guys. What's happening is, uh, what's technically happening right now with the market is, uh, there's saturation in the market. Like I've been kind of talking about the market cap. And so as we get SBCs, some, some, uh, traders, they're cashing in. And so basically what happens is the market caps like this, but people pulling the market off, pulling players off the market, are keeping them, keeping the demand higher. Uh, keeping the price up and so what's happening is SBC comes out it may diminish part of the market but what's not happening is those players basically those players more uh, the investors are pushing more cards into the market and that's pretty much what's happening along with EA dropping decent uh, fodder and we haven't seen anything that's required 88s 89s yet but the second that happens, guys, these are going to the moon, and I see it happening. Um, if I have to, if I have to hold till team of the year, I'm going to hold till team of the year. I'm at a point where I don't have enough time to play. 
uh, that, um, but I have an hour a day to be able to spend to, to try and make these videos out. So, um, I hope you guys like this video. That's all I have for you guys say. Not much movement today, but John Stones. And so I love the 83 trade market, guys. If you are impatient, I would sell your stuff and just go into the 83 market and just flip on, on the 83s and just follow me on the 83s. Uh, but besides that, guys, let me know below. And oh, wait, I forgot to talk about the comment section. Uh, glad I caught this, guys. Uh, I'm going to go to comments for here real quick. I apologize. I apologize. I treat this almost like a live. Um, I almost treat this like a live episode, guys. So uh, I hope you guys I hope you guys are with me on this. So I'm going into the comment section here. Okay. This is from yesterday, guys. Uh, do you think David's price will evolve as the left is informed? Yes. Yes, it should. Yes. Yes, price. Evolve. May not go up. I, believe, I think it will continue to... Continue to drop somewhat. It's not going to move that much. It's not. It's just not going to move that much, right? Um, this way, you're my favorite trader. Never thought you'd take the time to answer your question. Appreciate your time and effort. Make. Uh, thank you, Invictus. I appreciate you, man. Seriously. Uh, prediction about fodder. When do you think it's going to rise? Fun vid. Um, thoughts on daily episode. On today's episode. Today's daily episode uh my thoughts on fodder um um fodder it's we really just have to wait for the right sbc i can't guarantee when that's gonna happen uh ea is gonna drop a banger sometime man uh holidays coming uh i just think they're gonna drop a banger man they, they have to when's the best time to buy gold medal players now or wait um so uh thoughts on daily video thoughts on daily video just uploading shortly uh basically guys when is the best time to buy gold player metas how long should i wait um if you buy now they'll continue to drop and they'll continue to drop for the rest of the season they may they may hit a resistance for a month until team of the year but they should continue to drop so just know whenever you buy they will continue to drop that's my thoughts um when should we be buying Messi, etc.? Thoughts on uploading shortly. I'm going to copy that. Boom. Um, we're going to send that. Love this content, dude. Salim Shady. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Um, I invest the eight, uh, into the 84s uh, winter card. Waiting for the SBC to require one. Not a bad move, especially with what happened to the signature signings, but I can't guarantee anything like that is ever going to happen again in the FIFA history market. That was one that was like three people investing to like 2,000 cards each unlisted, which is insane. Should I basically just invest in low fodder? Sorry, it's my first time trying to invest. Um, check up. Um, basically, my man X Orange, uh, John Stones is the way to go. Definitely, def, 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 uh, def watch today's episode. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, if you're still here, I really want to say thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Um, should I buy fodder now? Thoughts on... Uh, I just think there's always a day to buy fodder, and fodder is super cheap right now, but EA are suppressing gold fodder, so if you're going to buy fodder, I'd look into Informs or, like, the 83 market. A um, couple questions. First, I'm sat on 84... 8, 40, 87s. And through a blocks playing the full team team, I bought a 20k. I'm kind of getting bored of the team I'm using. Uh, secondly, I'm assuming a Tim merch. Uh, have fun with the game, but do if you if you sell off your content, if you sell off your investments, you miss out on potential more coins. However, not selling, you don't have the ability to have fun. And he's basically asked me, should he have fun or should he sell his stuff? And me personally, I'm saying sell your stuff, have fun, um, and but sell about half of it and play with half that's the best way to do it uh best method for to get to 80k to 300k um check uh us and daily uploading shortly um method method release today today with 75 plus packs 75 plus pack easy easy to go from 80k to 300k easy easy any mid investments 50k to 70k Yes, uh, check out uh, the 
uh, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this and paste it. Guys, uh, it looks like that's going to be all the comments that we have. Um, that's going to be all the comments that we have today. So I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys are still here, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.